Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to actually accept and reject applications into the pot or the quadratic funding round from the perspective of a chef or an owner and admin, because anything a chef can do, an admin can do, and anything an admin can do, an owner can do. The only difference is owners can add and remove admins and so owners and admins can also change the settings like application times fees and etc like i mentioned in the deploy round uh, but here i showed you how to apply earlier and now we're going to be looking at the applications there is i believe two applications right now and as you see on um, plugrel.near is the owner of this this is the account that deployed as in the previous video so a chef could be able to do this too and a chef is expected based on fees to be checking this every day but always owners and admins can provide that extra support. So it's pretty simple. Um, firstly, I'm going to reject nearhacks.near. And people might be like, why would you reject? Well, firstly, there may be a max number of applications and there might be only the top picks and quality picks that you want in this round. That's a reason to reject. Additionally, this round, if you go to potluck.org slash creatives, you can see it's clearly for things that support creativity and public goods and uses arts and culture uh, to benefit the world. And near hacks near doesn't really do that. It is more of education. I think it doesn't feel we're on the scope, but what I'm gonna do is leave this on-chain note, uh, which is visible at, in the admin notes section. So when people come back and they look through the application, they see who's been accepted and who's been rejected, they can have this audit trail. You can also retroactively change the status after you kind of, they may have went to the Telegram channel and appealed to you and been like, yo, this is what we really do. And you could have changed your mind as well. So that's a, a note here, but let's say this does not seem like a project that falls into the scope of creativity. And so going to submit and then actually give me one second. So it's gonna submit and you can see um, that the chef is setting the application status. Even though I'm doing this from an owner account, it's still the same method. Um, 100 T gas, you're depositing one near, you're updating the status to rejected and you're giving a note. So everything checks out. Let's confirm, let's go to Meteor Wallet. And like we've done in past Meteor Wallet, we actually have to refresh the page because um, of the extension wallet on Boss. Uh, but let's give it a second to update the status. And then um, we're gonna refresh it here. And we're gonna see here, that it has been rejected, but you could also go back and approve it. The notes are only gonna show the most recent notes, uh, but from the perspective of an outside user, and um, I, I can go and check that a little bit later, uh, but you can see the reason why. So there is a completely auditable trail. You can check the transaction log and see when they updated. Um, so you can really have uh, diligence around this as well. One thing that's not here in the UI that we have to update is actually who updated this, whether it's the owner, the chef, or the admin, but you can check based on the transaction history by going to creatives.v1.potfactory.potlog.near. Uh, and so um, let's go ahead and approve this. I know this is a creative project, creative project doing great work for the community and active in the creative DAO community. And even though I know it fits the criteria and it's always good policy to give a reason for why someone got in. Because uh, I, I I really don't like it when people just put the reason for when you don't um, get in. And then um, you're going to actually see this move into the projects page um, on uh, the round as well. So let's go refresh it. You can then see the status has been approved. And it's a little bit confusing here, but this is just from the admin view. If you look from another view, I'll show you that in a second um, and let's go to projects and now on projects um, you're going to see this normally this wouldn't be able to say verify to donate we got to change kind of that ui because as of right now you cannot donate but when you do want to donate during the matching round you're going to have to verify uh, via not about and that's where it's going to take you but you can automatically see when something's accepted it gets uh, it gets added to the official projects round and this is essentially the portal that people are going to donate to they cannot donate to projects um in uh, the applications there 
So a very transparent way to see the progress of an ongoing round. I'm gonna just. So what I like to do is I like to actually go to different um different versions of this. This is the dot x y z version. Boss dot potluck dot x y z app io like org. They all work in case you're using kind of multiple accounts. Uh, but you can see here that it says approved or rejected and there's these admin notes. So as someone who's not even logged in, I could audit and see why people are getting accepted and rejected. And this really helps for not only me as an applicant, but also understanding uh, kind of future rounds. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy to accept and reject and also um, overturn your decisions as well with the most recent note showing there. Uh, but we will have UI improvements. This is again, a rough MVP to get the pots out. Uh, but yeah, for if you chef have any questions, let me know.